자 그렇다면 은요 11월 9일 수요일 모닝 헤드라인스 뉴스카우스터 레이와 함께 시작합니다. 워싱턴 plans to deploy an aircraft carrier in the East Sea in a show of force if North Korea carries out its seventh nuclear test, according to Kyoto News, with the decision to be taken in alignment with South Korea and Japan. 미국 행정부는 북한이 7차 핵실험을 감행하면 항공모함을 동해에 파견하고 한국군과 일본 자위대를 연계해 통합 억지력을 보여주기로 결정했다고 일본 교도통신이 전했습니다. Former U.S. President Donald Trump has said he will make a big announcement on November 15th at his Mar-a-Lago resort, where he is widely expected to launch his 2024 presidential campaign. Donald Trump 전 미국 대통령은 오는 15일 자신의 자택 Mar-a-Lago에서 중대한 발표를 할 것이라고 밝혔습니다. 이날 발언은 대권 재도전 선언이 될 것으로 관측됩니다. Russian forces have stepped up their scrutiny of civilians in occupied areas of Ukraine's southern Kherson region and are making the city increasingly unlivable in an apparent preparation for a major battle there that has been looming for months. 러시아가 점령한 우크라이나 남부 헤르손시를 둘러싼 전투가 임박한 조짐을 보이는 가운데 러시아군이 주민 단속을 강화하고 도시를 황폐화하고 있다고 외신은 전했습니다. U.S. federal prosecutors have seized 50,000 bitcoins worth more than $3 billion stolen a decade ago from the illegal dark web marketplace Silk Road. 미국 연방 검찰이 10년 전 다크 웹 암시장인 Silk Road에서 도난당한 34억 달러 가치 우리 돈 4조 7천억 원 상당의 비트코인 50만 개를 찾아 압수했습니다. Doctors have claimed that a baby girl in India was born with eight embryos inside her, a rare defect that occurs in about one in 500,000 births, where identical twins inadvertently form inside the other. 인도에서 태어난 신생아의 뱃속에 여덟 명의 태아가 발견됐습니다. 발생률이 50만 분의 일로 매우 드문 이 현상은 쌍둥이의 불완전한 분리에 의해 발생하는 것으로 알려져 있습니다. And those have been today's morning headlines. Morning headline expressions. From the headlines today, let's recap today's expressions. In alignment with. Mm, if you're in alignment with somebody, you're on the same page. You're together. You're doing things in agreement with each other. Mm. 여기서 라인이라는 단어가 들리는 것 같지 않나요? 그래서 원래 일직선이 되다, 뭐 일렬로 정렬을 시키다 이런 의미도 있어요. So this means you're on the same page, you kind of think alike or do something together. Yeah, and you're kind of planning it together. Planning it together. 네, 그래서 연계하다의 의미를 여기선 썼습니다. Headline number two에서는요. Launch one's presidential campaign이 나오는데요. You launch something like a campaign, mm-hmm. you officially start it. Yeah. Like, you know, you use the word launch when you talk about rockets. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But in this case, it's running for presidency. Right, but you can think about it. It's officially starting. So pff, it's blasting off. Yeah. And usually campaigns take several years. Right? But, mm. you know, this one, for example, if Trump does officially launch it next week, yeah. it's going to be a two-year campaign. 그렇죠. Uh, rocket launch. Rocket 발사할 때도 이 launch를 쓰는데 uh, 이렇게 어떻게 보면은 대선 출마하겠다라는 것도 엄청 큰 발표잖아요. 그래서 launch, 뭐 발사 같은 그런 느낌의 동사를 썼다고 볼수 있을 것 같고 어, 다음 주에 뭐 발표가 나오겠습니다만 만약에 launch one's presidential campaign을 한다 그러면 정식으로 이제 대선 출마를 한다라는 그런 발표가 되겠습니다. 자 다음 헤드라인에서는요. Something has been looming for months. What does that mean? If something is looming and especially for months, then it's imminent. It yeah. feels imminent. Imminent meaning something will happen. Mm. It's almost certain to happen at some point. And mm-hmm. that usually it means that 
you know, it's going to happen soon. Yeah. So we were talking about a battle for the city of Kherson, Kherson. In, in Ukraine. This battle has been looming for months. Mm. It's almost certain that it's going to happen. And we're hearing everything that we're hearing. Yeah. It's going to happen much sooner than later. 네, 헤르손시에서 전투가 시작될 것 같은 그런 느낌이 지금 몇 달째 이어지고 있었습니다. 그래서 it's been looming for months. The battle has been looming. 이런 얘기가 나왔습니다. Headline number four에서는요, 연방 검찰이라는 뜻으로 federal federal prosecutor. Right. So this is in the in the U.S. 음. So they're also known as U.S. attorneys. 음. They're government lawyers. Government lawyers, right. U.S. attorneys, uh, fred, federal. I can't say this word. Federal. Federal. <laughs> federal prosecutors. I keep saying federal. Fe, federal. <laughs> right. That's right. Federal prosecutor. So anything with the word federal in it means that it's for the whole of the United States. The whole government. Yes, yeah. that's right. Exactly. And Jump. prosecutors are the ones that bring charges against criminals mm. on behalf of the government. 네, 미국의 연방 검찰, federal prosecutor. 자, 그 다음에 마지막 헤드라인입니다. When you inadvertently do something, what does that mean? Right. means you did it by accident. 음. You didn't mean to do it. It 음. was unintentional. If I called you by accident, yep. could I say, oh, sorry, I think I inadvertently pressed... Uh, yeah, it, it would sound quite prim and proper, but I, I could see you saying something like that. <웃음> 아, 그렇군요. Yeah. 어, 어, 실수로 전화했네요. 이렇게 말할 때도 이렇게 표현 쓸수 있어요. 물론 prim and proper라는 것은 굉장히 Posh. 좀 어, 뭔가 formal한 느낌이라는 뜻이죠. 그래서 casual하지는 않을 수 있지만 뭐 그럴 때도 쓸수 있고 여기서는 뉴스니까요. Inadvertently라는 것은 의도하지 않았다라는 의미가 있습니다. All right. From the headlines, we looked at the expressions. Morning headline expressions는요. 오디오 어학당과 유튜브에서 무료로 다시 듣기 하실 수 있습니다.